Hi there, welcome to the private showroom of Black Hills Institute of Geological Research. My name is Alex Ruger, I'm the science communicator for the Institute, and today I'm here to talk to you about these scale replicas of Stan the T-Rex. Stan is the face of T-Rex. Nine times out of ten, if you have seen a T-Rex skeleton in a museum, you have probably seen this dinosaur. These scale replicas are the result of a long-term partnership with Bone Plants, an osteological reproduction company based out of California. Working with them, we produce these research quality replicas. And my job today is to explain to you how to put them together, why they're important, so that even if you are a bonehead, you can have these sitting on your display shelf. First up, we have our one-ninth scale replica. Now, this was originally a sculpture. Paleontology involves a lot of art. So, we have to reconstruct what bones look like. We have to fill in missing pieces. And sometimes for a replica, we have to sculpt the whole thing over again. Now, this is a relatively simple piece to remove and put on and off. So you start out with that base right there. And then, we're gonna come in here, slide it in, and this prong right here is going to go up into what we call the brain case right here, and then it rests just like that. Now our next piece is a full-on research quality replica. This was produced by scanning the original bones and then using a rapid prototype 3D printer. Those prints were then cast and molded to produce this. Now this is a little bit more complex. Like the previous piece, it is all together. So it'll arrive to you like that. You can see how the base looks. And then this comes back in here and rests right here. Now you'll note that the ectopterygoids, these tiny little flares right here, they'll rest right there. Just like that. Much like the previous product you just saw, this is a 1 6 scale replica. Now, this one is different because it has a slightly wider gape, and each of the lower jaws are separate. So, we'll disassemble it here. So, the upper is a separate piece from the lowers, and it's going to go on pretty simply like this. So we're resting on the quadrates here. I'm going to come forward just a little bit more than you might otherwise. You can see it stops right there. So it won't go any more forward unless you try and force it, and you do not want to try and force it. Next up, we have the lower jaws. So you can see that each of these are separate pieces. We have left and we have right. And now they're going to be slotted through this hole right here. So you see these metal prongs. We're going to slide those in like that. Now, the quadrate will meet the articular here. And so they will slot together very neatly like that. So the heart of paleontology is anatomy. You may need to finagle with the lowers a little bit to make sure they are in the right position. And you'll want to look at it from multiple angles, as any artist will do, to ensure that we have achieved the correct form. And it looks like we just about have, like so. Okay. This is also a 1 6 scale replica, but this is our educator's kit. So, if you recall, I just mentioned the heart of paleontology is anatomy. Now, for any educator, even if you're just a hobbyist, this is a great thing to have. This will teach you anatomy, the anatomy of a Tyrannosaurus skull. Now, many of the same bones are present in our skulls and throughout the animal kingdom. So, this is great to have. 
Now I'm going to open up the chest. Now you see that this comes with its own booklet. This has a lot of science contained within. It talks about each of the individual skull bones. So much like the previous replica, this is the result of a CT scan of the bones. Those bones were then molded and cast. And so they're all separate and disarticulated. This is not supposed to be put together. You can see all the bones are layered. So there's three layers of these foam sheets in here and they all have a distinct cutout where they go. So once you're done with it, you can put it back in this custom crate. There are these nice handles, so you don't have to worry about that. There are roughly 60 individual elements in a T-Rex skull. And then this bottom layer, which does not come out. So, for example, here we have the brain case. And you can see even the pathologies are here. So this is a pathology, an injury that was obtained during life. Now that hole very neatly fits another T-Rex tooth. So we speculate that this may have been the result of intraspecific fighting. So fighting within the species. And when you're done with them, they will slot very neatly back in here. I've chosen the most complex bone to show you just how easy it is once you have it oriented correctly. You don't want to force any of these bones back into place. It should be very easy. And then we can stack them all back in. Close it right back up. Latch, latch. There we are. I hope you've enjoyed this up close and personal look at these scale replicas of Stan. These are all available for sale at dhigr.com. If you have any questions, feel free to contact.